So we've all seen the access denied error messages in SharePoint. The one in SharePoint 2013 and Office 365 looks something like this. Sorry, you don't have access to this page. So how do we find out which groups a particular user is in and what permission levels they have on a particular site? So we can do that by going to Site Settings and Site Permissions under Users and Permissions. Inside here you can see which SharePoint groups have access to this particular site. You might even have AD groups in here. If you're using Office 365, those groups will have been desynced up, otherwise you won't get access to them. So we could go through into these groups individually and see who is in each of these groups. But of course we can't do that with Active Directory security groups. But what we can do is we can check the permissions of a particular user and that will show us which groups they're in, if it's AD groups, SharePoint groups and what permission level they have on this particular site. So I press check permissions, so I just type in the name of the user, press check now to see which groups they're in and what they have access to. This particular user has limited access, he's only got access to the resource uh, style resource readers group which means he just has access to things like the styling of the sheet he doesn't actually have any read access on the page when we check the permissions of another user like Susan I press check now we can see that she has read access because she's inside the students group so that points out to me that this particular user isn't in any of the groups so need to be added to one of those groups to get access to the site so I can go inside students and add them to that group. And now they'll be able to have access to that site straight away. If it's an Active Directory security group and you add them to a member of that group in AD, if it's on-premises SharePoint, it'll take two hours to take effect. If it's Office 365, it'll also need to desync up into Office 365 before those permissions become relevant. So now when Andrew logs in, he can get to the page fine with read access.